Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I've been doing boob job videos just to share my experience, educational purposes only. So if you are a weirdo, you're not going to listen to me, but please exit out of this video because it's not that kind of video. Okay, so also, I look crazy right now. My hair is frizzy. I just brushed it and I'm in a robe and my hair is still pink and my roots are grown out. So this video is about is surgery day and then the post-op surgery. I'll put the days within the vlog. But what you're about to see is very, very, very real and I probably should not be posting this to the internet because I look so messed up. I just want to be real as possible with you guys because a lot of people want the surgery or post about this surgery and they're like, la di da di da, I have boobies now. And I'm like, yes, you do have boobies now, but like post real content and how you actually look. Maybe it had just affected me stronger than other people, although I feel like it affected my face more than. I, it looked like I got something else done. I don't know, like my my face. You'll, you're about to see. Less talking. Okay, let's do this. Okay. It's day of surgery, and um, I'm running, speed walking to my old apartment because I need to throw things out, and then hide to shower, and then be at the doctor's. Aha, voiceover. <laughs> this is a NASM certified personal fitness trainer. Yes, my certification came in the mail. I'm super excited and I had nowhere to put it because I was by myself. So I was just holding on to it and looking at it before the surgery so I wouldn't get so nervous. Okay, I'm here by myself, clearly. And my NASM certification came in today. And I don't know, I'm not really nervous. I'm just like, can't believe it's actually gonna happen today. It hasn't hit me yet. And I'm whispering because I don't wanna talk loud because I'm clearly by myself. But I currently look like a man. <laughs> like with this top on, it just like completely makes me flat. But I'm gonna walk out of here or wheelchair out of here with new boobies. So I got my Cartier bracelet <laughs> and I got marked up. And again, I'm not nervous, but I'm just really excited. <laughs> they gave me disposable underwear, real sexy. And I don't know the next time I'm gonna talk, so here we are. So let's have you sit up, okay? Okay. Goodness, she's only a few bucks. Okay, editing stuff. I just really can't with these videos. Like, the videos are about to get worse. I barely remember taking that video, especially the first section, but keep watching. So look who's taking care of me, Diana. They gave me pretzels and a popsicle because I was like feeling dizzy and nauseous, but I think it was just because I was hungry. But look. You can't even tell right now. <laughs> but I definitely don't look like a man anymore. <laughs> I'm like delusional. I'm eating pretzels. Ooh, girl. Who is she? They look hella uh, high, but this one looks higher. There's also like stuffing. Okay, I keep interrupting, but that was the first day of surgery. Afterwards is gonna be first day post-surgery. And throughout these videos, as you can tell already, I am slurring my words. I sound crazy. I look crazy. It's all the medication and the anesthesia wearing off. So just be warned this whole video, I'm pretty much loopy. All right, hi everyone. This is day one after surgery. <clears throat> and I barely slept last night. Like, can you tell? 
I look like I'm decaying. But look at them. This chest is a little bit more pushed out. And that is also because my chest wall is pushed out more. My hands, look, my nails are dirty, but they're not. Again, I still have dye under them, no matter how much I scrub them. But um, this is a little more pushed out naturally in general because of my asymmetry in my ribs. But girl, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Again, last night I was in so much pain, but I have friends that like cried from all the pain. Um, but I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm totally fine and it doesn't hurt like it does hurt. But it's like a weird different kind of pain it's like a a pressure uh i remember when i fell off the swings when i was little and i was wearing my back brace for my scoliosis i fell onto the cement so it kind of felt like that and it was sore uh so it's like manageable but again i have friends who can barely walk i walk around pretty fine i mean slower than usual but I can get up okay if I'm elevated, if I'm like laying flat, which you're not supposed to, I can't. But I definitely 100% recommend, rec recommend that wedge uh, mattress that I told you about, that pillow, and then stack up some more pillows on it because I didn't have any back pain from it yet, surprisingly, which is great. You can use a neck pillow too, but I'm very sensitive to neck pillows. I don't like my neck being like out here. But yeah, my throat is like really dry from like the tube they put in my mouth. And um, I didn't really get to talk too much yesterday because I was like all loopy and slept on and off all day. Luckily, my friend was here to help me. You're supposed to have with someone with you 24 hours straight during this time for at least like a day and the the nurse asked me if I needed a wheelchair I was like no I'm good I'll walk so it was like a short walk it wasn't like stairs or anything and I get to the door and then I see my friend because my friend isn't even allowed in the waiting room I see my friend and like I'm obviously loopy and not like myself but I'm fine and then all of a sudden I get dizzy and nauseous. Um, but I don't think it was from like the anesthesia. I think it was just cause I hadn't eaten for like 12 plus hours. And normally I get really nauseous and dizzy if I don't eat for however long, if I'm hungry and I don't eat when I'm supposed to. Uh, maybe cause like I am skinny. I'm not underweight, but like, I don't know, my body just like goes into shock or something. But the nurse was so sweet. Everyone was so nice. Um, the nurse, she actually gave me her popsicles and her pretzels and after laying back down and like everyone was so, so nice. It wasn't just like an in and out process. The doctor was super nice, the anesthesiologist was super nice um she was one of the nurses was like think of your happy place what is your happy place and i said summer 2019 <laughs> she's a good place and then she the anesthesiologist put uh the iv in this arm right there and i felt like sleepy but like i could still keep my eyes open but i just closed them and then i was out and then I woke up in the recovery room. It was just me in the recovery room. And the nurse was there. Again, she was so nice. And they didn't rush me. They were like, just take your time getting up. Because like I said, I've heard some horror stories of like people just like being shoved out of bed and just like on their way out already. But they took their time with me. They were patient. And... I was again I was alone in the recovery room I don't know if that's like always a thing but maybe because of corona it is a thing now they they really do show that like they care and they're not you're not just like another sheep going in and out of the place <laughs> that's what I describe as something you know like nail salons like you do your nails and they like rush you in and out like I hate that so and obviously with surgery you definitely don't want that but yeah if you're in New York Dr. Rice. 
Also, I forgot to mention that my two friends, Erin and Alex, sent me a recovery pizza last night and I remember that, but I don't remember if I answered the door or if my friend answered the, the door. I don't remember. There's like some things that I just don't remember, but I do remember eating that pizza and it was good. So thank you. Shout out to them. Why do I sound like this? <clears throat> Hello. Oh, I could totally prank call somebody right now. Hello. Oh. Hello. Wow. Daisy, I like a lots of alcohol. Nice to meet you. All right. I'm just gonna not even lie, but you're gonna see me in this robe for the next I don't know how long because I'm just wearing my bra. And I'm so tired. I don't know how I'm going to do my homework. No idea. It's due by 11.59 p.m. Hopefully by Sunday I'm feeling better. Because then I have to write another paper. Ugh. That diazepam is doing its job. No explanation needed. So today is Saturday. I had my surgery Thursday. What day is that? It's two days after surgery. And I slept better through the night last night. Am I even like good far up? I don't even know. I got my drugs here. Can't even see. Um, and uh, I was just like sleeping again. Cause when the diazepam hits, for some reason, like the oxy makes me like loopy, but the diazepam hits, I'm like, Ugh. and I took um, melatonin last night, which really, really helped, but I still woke up. But instead of like waking up like I did the other night and not going back to sleep, I went back to sleep and I'm just like so tired. And this is something like, I can't believe I'm posting on the internet because I look like shit, but um, this is something nobody mentions, and I don't know if it's just me, but like, my face is so greasy that I don't understand. Like, I washed my face and it's still greasy. I think I'm gonna have terrible skin after this. Um, I brushed my teeth, and I should probably eat something, but like I'm not even hungry. But here are the boobies. Yeah. So ugly. Guys, oh, that hurts. Sounds like I'm being dramatic as hell, but um, can't really lift anything, and I was lifting this bowl of acai. Um, because I need some, some, something to eat to hopefully make me go to the bathroom pick up hope hopefully make me go to the bathroom because i've been taking stool softeners and tmi so i look like a literal zombie that's been like in detox sweating out my it kind of looks like i have a real crease now all right i'm about to show you the real deal they don't show my mirror's dirty, dirty, but they don't show you the level of bloat you freaking get from all that water you retained and that constipation. Like this is this is me not sucking in my stomach. This is not normal for me. Usually I'm like I can't even suck it in. Like that's how bad it is. Oh my god, how many weeks pregnant am I? Months. Let's let's hope that acai bowl starts doing its thing. I'm going to attempt to wash like my upper chest and my lower lower chest. That doesn't make sense. Oh. <laughs> Weirdly shaped they are from like all the gauze. I haven't seen like people with ha like having gauze in here, so 
I don't know if that was just like me bleeding more than most people or what. It's like a full on bird bath over here. Too scared to press down. So I'm basically just wetting the area. Okay, so you can't even see me, but it's like 6 a.m. And I'm in so much pain. I don't even know what day after surgery it is, but all these like people filming their experiences. I don't know what they're talking about because this is real painful. You get the weirdest dreams if you finally fall asleep. So if you're thinking of getting this done, make sure you really think about it because this, this isn't easy. This isn't like getting lip filler. This is like intense. Okay, I'm going to try to go back to sleep because I'm all slurred from the diazepam. I think the worst part is just like the mornings. The mornings, I don't know with anything just everything feels more sore everything feels more oof but but what was i saying you could clearly tell i'm all like loopy on all these drugs but um what was i saying i'm not surprised there's implants under my muscle right now my muscle are like, what the hell is you doing to me right now? So, not surprised. But I can lift my arm like this. That's pretty good. Um, I'm not completely immobile, but I'm just definitely, like, tired. I gotta still force myself to eat. My friend Diana, so lovely. She's getting me a smoothie. Again, because I'm just not hungry. Like, name any food in the world that I absolutely love. And I'm not hungry. I just went for a walk. Today was the first day I could go, like, walk around the block. Here's the top that I wore. Um, it used to be so, so loose on me. Like, extremely loose on me. And now it's, like, kind of perfect. Like, that loose, flowy fit. Um, just for, around the block with my friend because I didn't feel like going around another time because I just got like really tired and out of breath. Some some man was like, beautiful ladies. And I'm like, I literally look like a zombie right now, but thanks. <laughs> um, so at least today's a little better. All right, it's 11.30 a.m. Um, I know like all these videos are so unattractive and the lighting is horrible, but my curtains have still been closed and it's, so hard to like not stretch my hands over my head because I'm so used to stretching like that and not having done that for like days like really hurts I don't know does anyone else get aches and they can't stretch even though if I do try to stretch that will hurt I'm also really getting bad tummy aches well not really tummy aches but they're more like intestinal aches because um constipation yeah, anyways, moving on. I'm using the stool softener. That's not the stool softener, but the stool softeners don't work. They just don't work. At least not on me. Um, so I had to take a laxative. That works. FYI. I know, I know we're talking about gross stuff, but it's important stuff you gotta know. And you watch these videos on YouTube of girls getting their boobs done. It's all body, body, that. Like, I'm in no pain. I mean, I'm so, like, no, no, you're going to be bloated. You're going to need to poopy, but you're not going to be able to, to you're not going to sleep well. You're going to be in pain. You're going to be, okay? It's, it's no joke. It's surgery. All right. Ow. Hi, everyone. Wait, wait, I got lights now. Let me turn on. All right. Hey, everyone. Clearly, I'm wearing the same shirt as I did yesterday. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to update you guys. As you can tell, I am visibly better, not cute wise, like I'm still like a hot mess, like under eyes and my eyes are still dark. But the other day I looked horrible, um, but I feel a lot better. I can walk around more without getting as tired. 
uh, but I still have feel I still feel pressure and pain but it's actually not that bad today I only took one oxy and then the rest I took twice Tylenol but other than that I didn't take any diazepam so I'm pretty good today and it's not even been a week so that's that's good I feel like most of this in my bra so weird oh my god look at my pants with grandpa pants i feel like it looks so big and flat because of all this like cotton padding inside i don't know if i'm supposed to take it out i just kind of left it in there but how do i take this off without hurting myself why did i put a tank top on i can't take it off now hello oh it's not bad at all I'm scared that was I was so scared that was really gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, so I thought it was a good I do not recommend this. My doctor told me not to do this, but I wanted to like blot my titties off because I was kind of sweating. It was kinda of hot in my apartment. My mom come. But it was really hot in my apartment, so I wanted to like blot the sweat off with like a paper towel. I could barely do that. My titties, first of all, took the imprint of these things, so my boobs are like all wrinkled, and like one nipple is higher than the other, so because they're still like dropping. But holy crap, the pressure I felt! I felt like I was so scared. I thought I was gonna pass out. Like I thought that my my boobs were just gonna fall out. And I know that's not like a feeling I'm used to, but I was like, holy crap, I could only keep it out for like a second and until I clasped it back up. And now here we are again. Holy crap. It makes me nauseous. I was, I was gonna eat, now I'm not hungry. Maya, you know what's good? You know what's good? So day six, I did not film anything. My mom came, my dog came, I got distracted. So it's just going to skip to post-op appointment. Post-op time. So after post-op, I did not film myself recording an update. However, the post-op went great. The gauze was removed. The tape was removed off my uh, incision area. And then I also bought a Sientra silicone scar ointment that I will show you in the next clip. And that is supposed to help with the scar. And uh, that day I also finished taking any medication, so I was super excited. And uh, my last medication I took was an antibiotic. I've reached the end of this video. Wow, I'm sorry of what you had to see. I was a hot mess. But it was a long video, but I didn't want to include everything in one video in one go. And hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like this video, comment. I will be posting a two-week update video um, that I should be filming today. As well as I'll probably do like a month update and a Q&A and then maybe like a six-month or three-month update. I don't know. Whichever one I feel is appropriate that needs to be updated. And I have a bunch of questions that I will answer but feel free to DM me on Instagram if you don't feel like leaving a public comment.